Hi, I'm Karen K. Buckley. I'd like to tell you about my new Karen K. Buckley's Perfect Stems. If you have a package of the original Perfect Stems, the process is exactly the same. In this newer pack, we now have eight widths, so it's not about the length of these strips, it's about the width and the idea. I'm looking for the width that matches my pattern. And so let's say that I've determined that this is the width I will need for the project I'm working on. Once I have this size determined, my next step is I'm ready to cut fabric. I will cut my fabric on grain if my stems are straight, and I will cut my fabric on bias if I need my stems to curve. Otherwise, the technique is the same. It's just that cut, and it is very important that you cut on the bias if you want your stems to curve. I'm going to cut my fabric so that it is two times the width of this strip, plus I have to have a seam allowance. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I cut this strip. Now I've already pressed it in half, and I've pressed it so that the right side is out. So it is two times this width, plus I have a seam allowance added on here. And then I'm going to take this strip, I'm going to place it up into the fold of the fabric. So it gets pushed up tightly into that fold. Your next step is going to be at the sewing machine. And I like to use a foot like this foot. It's a top stitching or an edge stitching foot. And you'll see it has a metal guide that goes down through the center of it. Sometimes these feet will have a plastic guide. Sometimes it's an adjustable guide. Sometimes it's set permanent. A zipper foot could do the job. You actually have numerous choices for this process. But the concept, when I'm at the sewing machine, I'm going to place this foot so the guide sits right down along the edge of my bar. And then at the sewing machine, I am just going to stitch right down along beside that. And it's basically going to sew the bar into the fabric temporarily. And so I have one right here beside me that I've already sewn. So here's what we're looking at. So I've stitched this right down along the edge of this strip. So it's sewn in here. So no matter what the width of this strip is, then it just sews it to that size. So you're sewing right down beside it. And you needed this amount of seam allowance on here to do the sewing machine step, but now we want to get rid of it. We do not want all of that seam on there as we're going through this process. And also I wanted to note, stitch length is just normal, like kind of uh, 12 stitches to the inch, nothing tricky there. Thread color is irrelevant because it will never show by the time we're finished. Only thing you want to stay away from is a thread that would be heat sensitive. Otherwise, pretty much you can do anything. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut as close as I can possibly cut to my stitching line. So I cut very carefully and slowly. So I do not accidentally cut through my stitching line. And while I'm cutting, another thing I would like to uh, mention so I don't forget this, is that even though this plastic stem strip that I have is this length, I could sew a stem much longer than this. So during the sewing process, I would just stop with my needle down and lift the foot. I could pull my perfect stem strip towards me, drop my foot back down and keep sewing. So I could do much longer strips than what I'm showing you here in this demonstration. Then I'm going to take this seam and I'm going to roll it. So I'm just going to take it. You'll get your hands in here and just kind of roll it. It's not too hard. You'll just have to give it a little bit of a tug. Now, outside of the camera, I'm going to slide this in for you. I sprayed some sizing. I prefer sizing over starch into the lid of the container. And then I'm going to dip my stencil brush into the sizing. And I am going to paint this seam. This is going to become the back of my stem, so it doesn't have to be pretty. I'm going to bring my iron in. I'm going to lay it right down on top of that strip. And then while that's drying, I'm going to roll the next section over. I just take my fingers and kind of give it a little bit of a pull. And I'll paint the next section. And then I'm going to slide the iron down. And I'll roll this up a little bit more, almost down to the end, and paint some sizing on here. I'm going to slowly iron my way down. And I am on a dry, medium heat setting on my iron. So I needed a medium heat and I want a dry iron. I'm trying to get the moisture out of here, and if you have steam, it will just be putting the moisture back in. So I need it to be perfectly dry. Usually it has to sit in place about 10 to 15 seconds at each spot to dry the sizing. Then I'm going to pull the iron away, and I'm going to lift this up. 
So when you touch this, it's not going to burn you hot, but it's warm, so be careful. And I always go like this down the strip, and I'm just making sure that it is completely dry. And then I'm going to take this strip and pull it out. Then I have that to reuse forever and ever. And when I'm finished, I have this perfectly even stem to then applique by hand or machine onto my background.